Hello everyone, uh, my name is Sean Askey and I'm a realtor at HomeSmart Realty and uh, this is going to be my first video blogcast and uh, most of all it's an introduction of me to you. Um, sometimes when you just look at a regular blog and you just have a bunch of words uh, you don't necessarily get a sense for the person that's writing them. Um, so that's why I'm doing this. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, today's topic we're going to cover um, the different types of sales that are out there today in the real estate market. Uh, those three sales being uh, short sales, uh, bank owned or foreclosed homes, and then also your standard sale, uh, which up until 2006 were the norm. So uh, let's go ahead and dive right in. Uh, it won't be long, but we're just going to briefly touch on each one of those. Uh, the first one is a short sale. Um, of course, by now you've heard the term short sale left and right in the media and uh, on listings and uh, other places that you see homes for sale. Um, but what is a short sale? A short sale is simply when somebody owes more on their home than what it is worth and what they need to do is they need to sell their home and they're going to bring in an offer that is uh, less than what they owe. So a short sale means that the bank uh, needs to evaluate that offer and see if they're willing to take less money than what the uh, homeowner owes on that home. Now a few things uh, to know about short sales that as a buyer or even as a seller that you need to look out for um, and know what these um, kind of caveats to short sales are is that uh, on a short sale uh, the process can be um, an extra two months, three months, even six months. Um, so as a buyer you'll want to be aware that if you're looking at short sales and uh, uh, you're considering them you need to be in it for the long haul. Um, so the questions you need to ask yourself are when do I need to move? Um, do I have the uh, uh, the stamina to wait out how long this could take and the possibility of not even getting an accepted offer for what my budget is. And then the third thing would be, uh, am I okay buying a home as is? Because it's not likely that the bank is going to make any changes or adjustments or fix anything in the house as well as the seller is not going to either. So uh, the great thing about a short sale is, is that you can typically get a pretty good uh, deal and you can get a house either at or just slightly below market value um, but there's a few things that are a trade-off for that so sometimes a home isn't in a great condition um, oftentimes the process is much much longer than a standard sale or a foreclosed home so just a few things there to take a look at um, bank owned foreclosed or as you sometimes hear REO which means real estate owned that simply means that the bank is taking possession back of that house from the uh, uh, homeowner because of uh, different reasons. Uh, but this can also be a great opportunity because today we're seeing a lot of um, uh, banks that have done a little bit of uh, work to paint, maybe put in new carpet in some of these homes. So these homes are in better condition today than I would say bank owned homes were three years ago. Uh, we're seeing a lot of that so that's really good. Sometimes there's special financing available for bank owned homes so especially if you're a first time home buyer you can get uh, sometimes a decent interest rate with a low down payment so that's another benefit um, also you're getting a house at uh, fair market value once again um, I would say though that if they're asking two hundred thousand dollars on a house I wouldn't expect to be able to come in and lowball them uh, much below what uh, they have it listed at. They typically know what they want for the house and if it's only been on the market a few days to a month they may not be willing to move on a little bit. Uh, one tip though if if their uh, books are going into the next quarter then sometimes they are ready to make a little bit more of a deal because they want that home off their books before uh, the next quarter begins. So, But you do need to be aware of that because they are going to want you to close pretty quickly as well. So. Uh, be ready for that. Um, REO, it's a good option, good opportunity to get a great home. And then finally, standard sales. Uh, I wish we saw more of these, but we don't. Uh, we have seen more come onto the market in the last uh, six to eight months, and uh, we're seeing a lot of those that have been flipped. So homes that have been purchased at foreclosure at the auction or in the courthouse steps, or even just after. They're putting money into these homes and then they are going uh, turning around and then reselling them for a profit. Now you just need to be aware that uh, they bought the home for probably 
quite a bit less than what you're going to pay for it, but you need to look at the spread of what they have done to that home to make it livable and put it in good condition so that they could market and sell that home for the best dollar. So make sure that your agent is pulling comps and that you know uh, if what they're asking for that house is a, is a good price um, and try and get the best uh, opinion if that house will appraise for that or not. So standard sales are great for many reasons. Um, usually they're the, the quickest to close um, and you can get the seller typically to uh, maybe make a few repairs or uh, changes to the house if they come up in the inspection. And so um, with short sale and, and REO or bank owned properties, typically the way that you see that house when you first walk into it is the way that it will be during closing. On a standard sale, um, you can typically ask for them to make some changes and if they agree to those changes and then move forward in the process and close on it, then you've uh, probably saved a few dollars there. So uh, that's what we have today. If you have any questions, uh, maybe questions that have come up because I mentioned a few different things, please contact me. You can do that at sean at askyrealestate.com or just hit the contact button on the blog here and uh, shoot me a little note. I look forward to hearing from you and uh, we'll talk to you soon.